Hey traders, Shane from GMT Futures, welcome. Uh, I'm going to take you through the Euro US dollar V2 Renko setups and just explain a little bit about the Renko charts and what the advantage of using Renko with the currency, with your currency trading. So, uh, the first thing obviously is that uh, the Renko charts do a fantastic job of cleaning up price action, and you'll see that. Uh, in the video series that we run through that it does a great job of delivering nice uh, nice clean profitable trades that uh, have an excellent reward to risk so let's jump in and have a look at a couple of examples here uh, before we start though I want to just take you through the advantages once again they the Renko charts help clean up price action they take a lot of the guesswork out trying to determine or, or establish where support and resistance are on the charts and also take a lot of the noise out of trading. Now, if you're familiar with trading the currency charts or you're even new to the currency market, you'll notice that using time charts often gets a little bit uh, frustrating because they tend to be a little bit noisy. So um, what we want to do is, is improve the way in which we look at visually look at the charts, and that helps us to make decisions. Obviously, the more simple the process and the easier the information is coming through to us on the charts, the better decisions we're going to make. So let's have a look at some examples uh, with our Renko charts. So what I've done here is I've just got I've got the Euro US dollar for today, and I just thought I'd go through quickly today's trade. There were two trade opportunities. The first one was at 137.76, and that uh, there's a current short first entry there. And our second trade setup has occurred on a break of support. So you can see there we've got dynamic support. So on the chart you'll see that we've got a moving average there. We have our dynamic support resistance levels and we have our Renko bricks. So these are bricks and they're set at, uh, set at a 5 pip brick. So basically what that means is that every time we get 5 pips of movement, either up or down, We'll get an, we'll establish a new brick size. If we get four four bricks from say for example um, 137.56, we move up four pips. Then it won't print a brick. It won't it won't print a brick until it, it actually moves five bricks in our favour. So or against us. So that's a good way of kind of um, cleaning up price action because basically if the if the markets aren't moving then your bricks aren't being printed so it just takes a lot of the noise out that you typically will see with time charts and tick charts so as you can see here on the euro us dollar for today's member update we've actually got a short at 137.76 and we have a secondary short here at 137.51 you can see that our, our white candles have started to print which means that we've broken through this support level and what we want to do is we want to see it break by two two bricks so on the second brick printing through the support level that's when we're looking to get short on the trade and uh, we start with a 30 pip stop and and it's a trailing stop so as we, as we move along this thing will trail by five bricks so we'll start to uh, start to see it's almost a break even now and as price moves down you'll see it go to break even and then we'll start to lock in some profit as we go along so that is today's setup. I'll take, quickly take you through now um, the trade example I was going to uh, show you previously, and I'll do that now. Okay, traders, I'll take you through another example of our long and short setups on the Renko. So you can see here, if we have a look at this uh, side of the chart here at 11.51, uh, we've got a breakout long here, and we've got our cyan confirmation. Now, we do get a bit of a pullback, but we're not too worried about that. But uh, that then transitions into a short setup. So we get the long setup at 136.50. And you'll see here that it actually transitions straight into a short at the same price point. So we get the, a little bit of a rally up, then we get the short sell. And you can see here that as we, as we look to take this trade, we've got, you've got a key level area down here at 136. So for those of you who are trading with a little bit more... Uh, discretion in relation to your targets you would be potentially looking to lock some profit in there at the key level and uh, that's a nice 50 pip trade now remembering that the initial stop is 30 pips and you can see there that we get then triggered into a long setup at 136.50 again so that level is really a turning point in the market on this particular day and we're flipping between longs and shorts and longs again so there as we set up there just in the start of the Euro the European session at 232 we see the long setup and that 
eventually gets us around about 110 pips, so a nice push up, and it uh, slowly kind of works its way down. If you're using the five brick trailing stop behind the uh, the moving average, then obviously you're knocked out around about uh, about there at uh, 137.62. So uh, a good push up and a nice strong move. So that's what you're looking for. You're looking for those good breakout trades to take and the Renko does a great job of just clearing price action up and uh, and allowing you to get into those trades quite comfortably so uh, that's a little bit of a quick recap of the euro dollar and I'll take you through a couple of the other sessions now if you would like more information on the Renko strategy using the V2 feel free to send us an email at info at gmtfutures.com and uh, we'll be more than happy to uh, to provide you with some additional information. So thanks for your time, everybody. Have a great trading day. Look forward to catching on the next video update. Cheers.